Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now I'm sure you've seen the Compare the Meerkat adverts on TV and honestly there's very little in life I hate more than those stupid meerkats. Those adverts honestly make me want to go out and kill every meerkat in existence. I want to make the whole species go extinct just because of these annoying Russian stereotype meerkats. So today we are going to take a look at some of their merchandise because I hate myself. So we are going to read a book. And what book are we reading? Well, we have Bogdan and the Big Race. So sit back, relax, and let me soothe you to sleep with the sound of my soothing voice. to front run a motorsport so are you all sitting comfortably then let's begin we will start with the message from the author hello peoples of uk welcome to another storytelling from mere cover this time we are teaching you how to do arithmetics only jokings <laughs> you got me there um, actually, we are telling you a tale of great daring do. When you read this story of fairy braveness, uh, we hope that you feel a throb of excitement. Is this porn? Because if you are young and small, like hero of this book, I don't think kids should be reading this. You don't always know that you are being taken serious. Especially if, like little Bogdan, you are famous for your practical jokings. But if you try very, very hard, you will be taken serious and then you can winnings. Was this written by a five-year-old by any chance? My great-granddaddy Vitaly, it's not Vitaly Petrov, is it? Is this homophobic as well? Was always telling me that winnings isn't as important as the playings. Personally, I think it is good to both. Please enjoyment yours. Alexander Orlov. And now we will begin. It was beautiful sunny day. All the meerkats of Mirkova have their sun creams on. Some of them are wearing sunglasses on their noses. If you have not seen meerkats with sunglasses on, then you are not looking hard enough. I'll be sure to check that out at the zoo next time. It was the kind of day when a meerpup who has day off school feels happy to be alive for this is very specials day it is the final of the Mirkovian Grand Prix the biggest race in all of Russia every famous driver and all the fastest cars are gathering together to find out who is champion of champions here's a hint it's probably Lewis Hamilton okay the crowd is full of cheering meerpups and their mothers and fathers Everyone has their packed weevil and termite lunch. Thanks for that image. There is excitement everywhere. On one side of track is villagers of Mirkovo. Yeah, like they let the poor in. They are waving special flags that have been claw stitched by Sergei. He stayed up all night to make, which made him very tired and malty. On the other side of track are the stinky mongooses. So this book is racist as well. All the meerkats keep well away from them. As any meerpup will tell you, mongooses are scratchy and full of meanness, and they are the enemy. They must be exterminated. Yeah, there's some you know, nice picture work in here, you know. I don't know if you can see. One by one, the cars get behind the starting line. Big roar go up. They are off. They're off, shout the crowd. All the cars are painted brightly and look sparkle in the sunshine. They go, everyone cheered. Hurrah, they shout. And just to make sure, hooray. Round corner comes blue car, then green one and then yellow one. All the colours of the rainbow, says wise old meerkat in commentary box. He is very old and has done many commenting. He always say this about the rainbows. 
Then comes Mysterious Red Car. It is sleek and very fast. It makes roar so mighty the crowd cannot hear itself think. It edges past Green Car, then the yellow one. Then it was just behind the blue car. The crowd gasp and grip the edge of its seat. Who is this mystery driver who is so skill and brave? Nobody know. It is all very puzzlement. If you read this to your kids, they are going to be more stupid. Just then, it overtake Blue Car and is in the lead. He is making all the other drivers eat his dust, says Wise Old Meerkat in commentary box. He is always talking about the dust as well. Perhaps this is because he is a very dusty wise old meerkat. Then up goes a shout. It's Bogdan, it is. Mirkovo's favourite meerpup. Despite his prankings, people still find him adorable. Everyone jumps up and down in excitement. Even old Grigor is bouncing up and down in his wheelchair. Disablest as well, we're adding that to the list. Or perhaps he is just forgetting to take his medications. Oh, and there's also communist you know, imagery there. So. <laughs> Just to let you know where this book's coming from. Then right behind Bogdan's car comes car with big black smoke. It has evil written all over it. This is a figure of speeches. It does not mean evil was actually written on the car. It means the car was all nastiness and horridness. It has pushed its nose past the yellow and the green and the blue car until it is just behind the red car. It is driven by big hairy mongoose who look wicked and rotten and full of nastiness. He tries to pass Bogdan's red car, but Bogdan too fast. He try again and even clip wing of Bogdan's car. Still Bogdan stay ahead. Then evil Mungoose starts to play dirty. He flicks a switch and suddenly spikes come out of his wheels. The crowd gasp. This is all very frightening. Don't see that happening in Formula 1 very often. The spikes, the Bodicea spikes. And they are actually covered in blood by the looks of it. The mongoose come up behind Bogdan, we're going back to the furry thing again, and make his spikes cut into his car. The crowd now shout and scream in great alarmings, but somehow Bogdan managed to keep on track. Then the dirty mongoose make another attack. This time Bogdan sees it coming, and he swerve out of the way at last minute. The mongoose car goes flying past and goes straight into barriers. Yeah, in flames. He's dead. Big swirly smoke billows out of his car and supposedly his corpse. The crowd could see the mongoose hopping up and down in a rage and furiousness. I guess he was okay then. Meanwhile, the red car zoom onto finish line. It is way ahead of all other cars. The checkeredy flag comes down with a big flourish. Bogdan is first. He is winning by five and a half seconds. The crowd is beside itself with delightedness. Bogdan is hero. He climb out of cockpit and is immediately surrounded by cheering fans. The race director takes him by the port and guides him to the podium. There's the president of all the Russias, Putin. Congratulate him and hang big medal round his neck. The brass band play Mirkovo Anthem, which is very rousing and makes the crowd very rouse. It was wonderful. Bogdan had never feel so proud. He is sometimes naughty pup and is no stranger to the dunce's cap. So it is very good for him to be achieving. He could see his mother and father and all his brothers and sisters jumping up and down in the crowd. There was Miss Maya, his teacher. There was Vasily and great uncle Grigor. There was Sergei in the pits, and there was Bogdan. It was the voice of Miss Maya. Bogdan, what have I just been telling you about decimal points? What does 5.5 mean? She was standing by Blackboard with her special very cross expression. Bogdan Galt. He clutched his gleaming red toy car. It was Yakov's finest and the, was a present from his great uncle Grigor. And gaze at Miss Maya. He knows he ought to know about decimal points somehow. He knows it will be important to know one day. 
But just at that moment, it isn't mattering. It may have been a dream, and he may be going straight to the detention, but Bogdan now know what he is going to be when he grew up. The fastest racing driver in the whole universe. Alexander's life lesson. You must climb every rainbow to make your dream come true. What a load of shite. I mean, if you want to teach your kids bad English, make sure you buy this book. If you want to teach them about the evils of marketing, this book is perfect. But for me, I think I'll end up by just saying, fuck Compare the Meerkat. Fuck their horrible advertising. And if you excuse me, I'm going down to my local zoo to make sure none of these meerkat bastards survive. Thank you for watching and have a good one.